Jane Lewis. Jane Lewis. Jane Lewis. Jane Lewis. Here's Jane Lewis. by cameraman Alan just to give you a quick tour around, shall we? That's the aquatic centre where the likes of Robbie Rennick and Hannah Miley uh, will be swimming. That's where you'll find all the spectators doing the games, enjoying the, the sunshine and the games as well. That's the tennis court where we'll see Andy Murray. I don't really think we'll know whether those issues have been resolved, have been rectified until the games get underway. When is that? Well, Friday marks the opening ceremony of the Rio Olympics and then Saturday the next day, day one of the action. We've just spoken to Patricia Gibson as well, who's the SNP a candidate for this constituency. She's not been quite so brazen and as confident as the observers I've been talking to. She says she's quietly confident and she's looking forward to hearing the outcome. Thank you very much. So hello to you again. Well, there's plenty at stake for Rangers and Hibs tonight. It's the first leg of their Premiership playoff semi-final. The results could go some way to deciding which team will be consigned to another season in the Championship. In an interview with BBC Scotland, another young Scottish player claims not, saying other players are using banned substances. How widespread would, would you say it is in the, the lower leagues of Scottish rugby? Lower leagues, I would say roughly two people per team maybe are on something. Others have made similar complaints. This is a copy of a letter that was written by a group of female boxers in July of 2012. It was sent to Sports Scotland. You said you were nervous. I wonder how Mum Mary was feeling. <laughs> oh, Mum Mary would quite happily have put her head under the pillow and not got up. <laughs> this is the Athletes' Village, home to all those who've been competing here at the Rio Olympics and also home to those who've been winning medals, just like this one here, Olympic bronze medal for Sally Conway. Sally, many congratulations. A few days Thank for it to you. sink in now. His future, where, where do we stand? He's got a very about? positive good future. In terms of the, any new contract, an extension oh. of a contract? There's no doubt about it, you get a new time. Well done, Jane Lewis. You did the story there that everybody else is trying. And I'll be grabbing them as they come out of the water here at the finish line. Now, every one of the 3,000 swimmers each have their very own special reasons for swimming here today. You might be wondering what all the fuss is about. It doesn't look that out of the ordinary until you see below. So the surface that I was standing on has been raised almost two metres, supported by a forest of these steel columns. Yes, Laura Muir of Scotland through to the final of the 1500 metres here tomorrow. There was also success for Scotland's Libby Clegg. You're nice and dry in the boat, I'm in the water. You're the expert, you fancy giving me some tips? Absolutely. Good stuff. So if you want to do a Celtic Chief Executive Peter Law will insist this is not a make or break season for manager Neil Lennon. That despite Lennon saying he felt he'd have to win the SPL title this season if he was to keep his job. They'll be relaxing in their hotel in Jerez. It's all about being focused now for the big game and what a job Martin O'Neill has to do. This is where he earns his wages. Scottish athletes winning 13 medals out here in Rio. That equals their best ever Olympics as well. So, as the Maracanã warms up for tonight's finale, we'll soon be saying bye-bye to the Olympics in Rio. <laughs> Could have fooled me, <laughs> yeah. for goodness sake. Try hard. <laughs>